Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic component distributor that adds new parts daily and offers same day shipping with no minimum order. We're building a better atom smasher, creating music with a spark shooting Tesla coil, and developing a robot that vomits on command. CERN's great and powerful Atom Smasher is about to take a two-year break from subatomic particle bashing. Not to worry, it wasn't budgetary concerns that will shut down the $10 billion proton collider, but rather an effort by engineers to revamp the Large Hadron Collider in order to achieve maximum energy levels, which could lead to greater discoveries. It's hard to imagine much that could be greater than discovering the Higgs boson, or God particle as it's known, but you know engineers and their feature creep, enough is never enough. According to the AP, the LHC will reopen in early 2015 after engineers add 10,000 redesigned superconducting cables that will bring the machine to full design energy. Let's hope they nail it on the first try. Last time, a bad solder cost 40 million in massive magnet damage, and the collider was never the same. The fix should mean bigger, better, and more frequent collisions that will greatly improve CERN's ability to simulate the moments that followed the Big Bang, and, some hope, Teach us a lesson by causing the universe to collapse into itself. We can do almost anything with our mobile devices, from accessing the internet to download and listen to the latest music, to obtaining and scanning our boarding passes for flights. So why not turn them into keys for our cars, front doors, and lockers? Researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute have created a solution, which will make the key app concept more versatile and secure, ShareKey. ShareKey allows users to issue digital keys remotely and then assigning those keys to user permissions. It is built around modern security technologies and can be easily integrated into existing accessing control systems, where communication between the mobile device and central server is protected by established security protocols. Potentially, this technology could help administer hotel keys or be applied as part of car sharing schemes. So what's cooler than creating music with a Tesla coil and two foot long sparks? Building it yourself. One Tesla, an emerging startup in Cambridge, Massachusetts, has launched a Kickstarter campaign for a do-it-yourself Tesla coil. But they are already more than $140,000 past their goal. Better yet, this thing is connected to a MIDI input. There aren't any speakers on this thing though. The delightful humming comes from the peaks of each pressure wave created by the sparks. A specially designed board turns the pulses on and off at a specific frequencies so you can play Flight of the Bumblebee with plasma. It makes music, shoots lightning, and this is the kicker, it is completely open source. This means anybody has full rights to reproduce and improve the design as long as the license is propagated. If I get one of these, the guys in Architect will have nothing on me. Using one Tesla, I will become Tesla One, electro rock star of the ages. <laughs> what do you get when you combine the best traits of a turbojet and turbofan engine? Not some fancy smancy chicken crossing the street, that's for sure. You get supersonic speed and fuel efficiency in one package. GE is developing a new jet engine under the USAF Advent Project, which is seeking 25% fuel savings. And this revolutionary engine, the high pressure core exhaust and low pressure streams of a conventional turbofan are joined by a third outer flow path, transforming it from a strike aircraft engine to a transport type engine. The engine's designs are based on 3D printing technologies of intricate cooling components and super strong but lightweight ceramic matrix composites. GE's goal is for the engine to take care of itself while allowing the pilot to focus on the mission. GE is now testing the engine's core components and plans to run a full test in the middle of this year. Researchers at the Health and Safety Laboratory in Derbyshire, UK, have developed a robot that projectile vomits on command as a tool for studying the spread of the highly infectious norovirus. The hyperemetic droid has been dubbed Vomiting Larry 
and it simulates a humanoid vomiting system. The goal of this system is to study and the reach and dispersion of human vomitus, the most common way that diseases such as the norovirus spread. Researchers studying Vomiting Larry, which was designed as an anatomically correct model of the human digestive tract, have determined that a single upchuck can carry particulate matter up to 9.8 feet. Chunk blowing of this caliber would be sufficient to infect an entire room with the norovirus. In order to track Vomiting Larry's spew, his artificial guts are filled with a vomit-like substance that includes a fluorescent marker, making even tiny splatters of his sick visible under ultraviolet light. Fluorescent puke from the mouth of a robot named Vomiting Larry? Now that's priceless imagery. Do you have stories or ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti and this has been your Engineering Newswire.